All right, guys, what to do? It's your boy X to come at you guys with another video. And in today's video, we're going to talk about why you should be working harder. And I know what you're thinking. It's like, bro, I've been working hard since COVID started. I ain't never put in hours like this. D, I'm tired of working. Hey, yo, I get it. Trust me. Um, like I said, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you don't know who I am, like I said, uh, the name's Exia. I was featured on CNBC. Um, but I work a lot of hours because I'm, I'm, I'm a mail carrier. You know, we are essential. But I work a lot of hours. And since 2020, they offered us so many hours. And I, t I, t I took all of them. I took as many hours as I could. Why? Because I can. <laughs> and I want to because I want more money. Why do I want more money? I want more money so I can invest more money. So therefore, I can grow my wealth at a alarming pace but i worked a lot of hours is the point of this and i want to let you know why you should work as many hours as you can so let's get into today's video all right guys so we're talking about why you should work harder but before we get into that would you mind hitting the subscribe button and most definitely hitting the thumbs up. I really appreciate it, it really helps my channel. And I just wanna help you guys and teach you some things that I've learned from actually working harder. Now, why should you work harder, right? Right? It's simple. You can make more. Oh, okay. And I know what a lot of people think. Oh, well, the more you make, the more they tax you. True, but there's ways around it, right? But never, should you ever let taxes dictate your income? Never. You smart. Why would you ever, ever, ever say, oh, well, I don't want to make more money because they're just, they're just going to tax me. When in hindsight, let's just say, oh, well, you owe $3,000 this year in taxes. Oh, no. But let's just say Latin of the year, you made an additional $5,000. Okay. You made two extra grand. That's two extra grand you got and that you could have invested and made more money with that you would have never gotten. But like I said, again, a lot of people just so concerned with taxes that they you know limit their self. And I don't think you should do that by any means. Take the extra money. Facts. Now I know when you hear the word work and especially followed up by do more, you immediately get depressed the anxiety kicks in and you just fall apart at the seams. You just like, I would rather quit this job than do more, right? It is what it is. It is, it is what it is. it is. A lot of people say it. A lot of people feel that way. Why should you say, say less, right? Now I know working a lot seems trash, or bad. You no, know, everybody wants to be an entrepreneur now. Everybody wants to know be their own person uh, well i'm a person and i deem this to be so so that it shall be i get it it's a great thing though to have the freedom of speech amazing but truthfully when it boils down to if you're trying to grow your wealth should you work more yes because a lot of people get this ideology that if you're an entrepreneur i can set my own hours me three hours a day employees but the thing about that is you got to have money to pay said employees and we not talking 20,000 a year mm -mm. you ain't getting no good employee for that baby you want some actual employees they go more actual money so if you actually choose the role of entrepreneurship nine times out of ten you're gonna work more hours hands down so if a entrepreneur is something that everybody wants nowadays works more hours why shouldn't you think about it that person has everything you want everything you desire so why would you match and or let me tell it outdo them if that entrepreneur is doing 10 to 12 hours i do 14 to 16. why because he has an advantage on me that i don't have and i want what he has or i want what she has right oh I like that or what they have is something that I always dreamed of, right? So with that being said, 
if you see that that's what they're doing, why would you do less? That literally makes no sense. This guy is doing this much and he has this much, so I'm gonna do this much, but I'm gonna want exactly what he got. Mm, that don't sound like no good math to me. That, that makes no sense, right? So for anybody out there who like, I want more. I want more money, I want more trips, I want a simple life, I want a better life. Hey, guess what? You gotta work for it. <laughs> That's crazy, right? So many people just skip the work part and just do the, or want the, I want more. And that's not how things go, which is why I say you should work more. Work more. You can always do more. If you're doing eight hours, try to do 10. If you're doing 10 hours, try to do 12. And I'm not saying you have to do those specifically at your job, but what I am saying is, treat everything as it is your job. If you have that side YouTube channel, if you have that side job, if you have that side, whatever side hustle it may be, if you work 10, now you should work 12 or 13 because you should dedicate that time to whatever your side hustle is every day. You can't do a side hustle sporadically and just hope it grows to something magical. You should give it it just dues. Treat it as if it's a job job. When you clock out of one, swipe it, your card, do it on your phone, however your job does it, who knows. Um, but you should immediately get in your car and you know, swipe in or do it on your phone and check into your other job and immediately give it its time. And I get it, there's not enough time today. But believe me, I truly believe this and I may be wrong or I just may be a high energetic productive person, I have no idea. If I can do 12 hours a day, still come home, chill with the wife, hang with the kids, and still put an hour to two hours in on this YouTube channel and you know, researching you know, some of those option trading I was doing, the other stocks and stuff of that nature, I truly do believe that you can give your side hustle, it's just dues. And which is why I say again, you should work more. Work as many hours as you can. Work is not meant to be fun. Work is meant to be work. Now, then you just like, well, why would I want to do something if it's not fun? Why would I want to work if work ain't fun? Now, you can make work fun, depending on your job. Some of y'all, hey, I don't know how y'all do it. I'm gonna keep it a stack with y'all. I ain't with it. Warehouse jobs, not for me. I can't be in those doors, wall, no, dark hole place where you no know, time ceases to like move forward at anything i can't do it i prefer to know where i have no supervisor on my back so therefore you give me a task and that task will most will get done flawlessly i got you just don't you, you know hover over my back i got this and the reason i like those jobs is in jobs like that i can do multiple things at one time like for instance i listen to audiobooks while i'm at work walking because i'm a mailman right I also spend some of this time doing some research and you know, and you know, potential gaining ideas for YouTube videos. Uh, I spend some of my time you know, just listening to YouTube videos, right? So I'm able to do more than one thing while I'm at work, which helped and allow me to you know do my side thing, which is YouTube, which is stocks and you know, all this other stuff. So that works for me. What works for you, you have to figure out because if you could figure out what works for you, that would make your job more meaningful. So to me, I don't count my work as work. Yeah, I go to work, don't get me wrong, I go to work. Is my job great? Of course not. It's good, it ain't great, but at my job, I'm able to multitask and do other things. So yeah, I'm at work for 12 hours, but in that 12 hours, I'm able to do double things. You know, I can work on this, work on that, work on that, call, call here, set this up, set that up, all while working. So therefore, when I get off, if I have the ideas and everything lined up, sit down, hang out with the fam, I put my son down, make sure he's good and sleep because I want to know, talk to you guys. Here, here, record for 20 minutes, boom. The next day I come home, I don't have to record because I already recorded. I sit down and I edit. And I edit and I edit till I get done and boom, a video is produced. And just like that, I work more. 
Why? Because I want to grow this YouTube channel. Not for the money, um, truthfully. When I first started, it was for the money. I was like, man, if I can make, I can make, I can do that. I can do that, right? I can do that. I can make that type of money. I ain't even trying to make hundreds of thousands. You can just give me a thousand dollars a month. I cry. I can do YouTube. But then when I got into YouTube, I actually liked the idea of you know, telling people my story, motivating people, showing people that, hey, it's a way. Because I didn't know that, you know, yet again, you know, looking from the inside out, I'm just naturally assuming, no, I'm not doing enough. I'm not that good. No, I got to get better. I got to try harder. But on the outside, when people look at me, it's just like, how is he doing it? I didn't understand the concept until the after, like, really the um, millennial money. That, that really was an eye-opener for me that I do too much. <laughs> or I'm able to do more than the regular person. Uh, I guess the discipline was real, I, I guess. But... When I found that out, that gave me, it's like, okay, yeah, I want to do this. So it's, it's not so more that, oh, I want to do YouTube for the money. I don't really care about the money, truthfully. Um, I make enough. My goal in life was to make literally 50000 a year. I crushed that, like crushed that, crushed that. And even now, dude, I, me being in my job so long, my salary is literally fifty k now. So even if I just want to stop, I'm perfectly fine. Like all my bills are less than 1300 a month. Uh, I, do, I do pretty good for myself, so and so I got my portfolios and I allocate X amount to them every month Whether it's $1,000 over here, 500 here So in due time, my network and everything will grow And I'm just not there like, oh, I need to do No, it's just, it's just like I'm cool with where I'm at and I'm loving my growth And I'm just enjoying it I'm trying to cut down so I can spend more time with family But I still want to grow exponentially So that's what I'm battling with But I want to do YouTube to show you guys how I got here because I'm not too far away from people. People think I am like, oh my God, he's doing phenomenal. How is he doing it? I'm not that far ahead of you at all. One solid, maybe two solid years of work and you will be right where I'm at. Truthfully, 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 I truly believe that. So, don't count yourself out. Just understand that you have to work to get it, which is why I'm telling you my number one advice is to work more. If you have a hourly wage job, work more, whether it's at that job or your side hustle. If you have a job that pay on commission, you can still work more. No matter what you think of it or what the answer you think it may be, the answer is work more, truthfully. By working more, and really budget and save your money, you will be able to put more money up, pay more debt off, get in a good headspace, get in a good financial space, and life will just become simpler. All from working more. Would you be tired? Keep it a stack with you? Yes. I can't do nothing about that. That's life. You always gonna be tired, truthfully. So, yes. But would you be able to get out of such a terrible headspace, which will allow you to see things clearer, sleep better, have a better attitude, actually enjoy life? Yes, yes. So that's my advice to you guys. Work more and that's why you should work more. But it's your boy Exia and I'm out.